Hello. I'm just harvesting. Now by harvesting the central hedge, of course, it then makes the rest of it send out its stalks. And we still have some Rudolph that needs to be harvested. And that's how these plants keep producing. They keep sending out little side stems that you can keep continuing to pick. And you can see with the Rudolph here, it's still doing it. It's not actually finished yet. It's still trying to give us some harvests, which is great. But by taking the centers of the clarets we just did, that will actually promote that plant to start sending out more and more side shoots that we can enjoy. Now, in today's program, we should look at what we could be sowing, what we could be planting, and what we could possibly be harvesting during the month of April. Hello and welcome back to the New Dig Norfolk Garden. I always find that April is probably the busiest month for sowing and pricking out, potting on and planting into the garden. There's always something to do in each month that you can be sowing or planting, but April I always do find a really busy month. So it's important that you know you do keep on top of those jobs that you might need to do as far as sowing goes. But don't think about trying to sow all of your seed at once. As I said right at the beginning, it still is, can be quite cold during April. And although those seed packets do say you can sow things like runner beans and French beans in April, my advice would be guard against that. Those type of plants really don't like cold weather. They sit there and sulk. And if you did get a really late frost in April and going into May, it would actually kill them off. So just hold back on those. Now, hopefully like us, you've already got your beetroot in the ground and your spinach. There's not too much point in sowing the spinach now, simply because it's only gonna give you a month or two of harvest at the most before it wants to flower. Their time will come again. And of course, anything that you actually put out into the ground early, while it's still cold, do look to fleece it. It just helps them settle in and it keeps what warmth there is in the air trapped underneath whilst they just become established. Cold winds really can damage young plants. So yeah, if like guts you're planting out early, do just fleece them and they'll be fine. Now, sowing for April is very similar to what we sowed in March. Wherever we sowed then, you can still sow in April. And if you want to know what you could sow in March, then do go back and find that on our playlist from last month. And it will tell you all the seeds that we were looking to sow in March. But yeah, you can continue to sow them during April. But also, we can add a few other things now that April has arrived. We have our potatoes already in the ground main crop, then the first earlies and second earlies in pots. April is a good month to be sowing potatoes of all kinds and using all methods. Also, you could be sowing your courgettes, your squash, and your cucumber, as well as leeks and carrots. And around about mid-month, we shall look to sow our basil seeds. And then towards the end of the month, we shall look to sow our sweet corn seeds. Now depending on when you actually sowed your seed during April you could be planting out plants such as canterbries and cabbage, radish and beetroot. 
broad beans, cauliflowers, and onions. And of course, also peas that were sown back in March for us. And these are going to start going out into the ground over the next week. Also this month, if it's something you want to be growing, you can also be planting out your asparagus crowns and Jerusalem artichokes. Now harvesting for the month of April. This is a variety of cauliflower called Aylesmere, one that we didn't think we were ever going to get, but it has come despite all its difficulties. And if you've sown a variety similar to this that matures during April, of course, you could be harvesting cauliflower. There it is, Mrs. W. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. I'm intrigued as to why these leaves have got an edge, a little white edge into them, because not all of the leaves have got it. No. I don't know if anybody can tell us if that's just a natural thing for this particular variety, or is there something wrong with the plant? But <laughs> there's obviously nothing wrong with the cauliflower itself. <laughs> no. Beautiful. But also this month, you could be harvesting your final leeks. We did ours last week, but any leeks that are still remaining in the ground, you do want to be harvesting this month because they are going to rise to flower. And also, of course, if like us, you've grown purple sprouting broccoli, and especially the variety claret that we have tried for the first time this year, that is now in harvest. And hopefully that should give us a harvest for the next four, five, six weeks in the same way that our Rudolph has been doing for us. If you're a regular viewer of our channel, you'll know that we've tried for the first time to grow things within the greenhouse in order that we can get some harvest. We had some lovely harvests from late December onwards of some pak choy. Um, we've had some spring onions already. As you can see here, they're getting to a really nice size. We've already had one harvest of radish from the greenhouse. We actually put some more plants in last month and you can see they're now ready for their harvest. And then this lettuce that Mrs W sowed back in February, that really is ready to start picking. And that's gonna be absolutely lovely, coupled with the radishes and the lovely spring onions that we have ready. We took a lovely harvest of spinach yesterday, which is why these plants are looking a little bit bare at the moon, but you see they are throwing out their next lot of leaves that we're going to be able to start harvesting. And the carrots, of course, I'm always ever hopeful. I am the most hopeful gardener, probably, on the planet. Mrs. W keeps saying, I don't know if they're going to make anything, but I keep saying, well, I can see tops on the Mrs. W there. They're there. We'll see. <laughs> we shall indeed. Now depending on which variety of rhubarb that you have in your ground will depend on whether you can be harvesting it now or looking like you're going to get a harvest this month at some point. You may have already been harvesting rhubarb because there are early varieties that harvest earlier than the one that we have. But that's something else that you can also be harvesting during the month of April. And by the end of the month, you should be able to be enjoying some lovely fresh asparagus if you have that in your garden. So another season is here. We have things to harvest. We have much to sow. Things to prick out. And of course, during the month, there'll be lots to plant out. As I said, right at the top of the video, I always find April to be one of the busiest months in the gardening calendar. So, 
I do hope that's given you a few ideas of what you could be sowing. And of course, those of you with our seed calendar and garden planner, you will know exactly when we are going to be sowing anything that we are going to be growing in our vegetable garden. And if you are new to our channel, and we know we have some new viewers by the subscriber count, a warm welcome to our channel. And if you haven't seen that video yet, but you would like to have a copy of our seed calendar and garden plan, then do just drop us an email. The email is on our channel page, uh, and I shall just send that over to you, and then you'll be able to see exactly where in this garden we're planting things, when, and of course, what succession plantings that we should be making later on in the year. Now do please let us know in the comments down below what you're going to be sowing this month and what you're going to be planting out and also what you're harvesting at the moment. We do so love to get your comments. Now, we need to get on with some work, Mrs W, while this sun is shining. We do. <laughs> Could be raining tomorrow. You never know with the April weather. One thing I do know, we shall see you next time. <laughs>